So here's our sample network. We have router 1 with IP address 10.1.1.1 on fast ethernet 00, 10.1.2.1 on serial 1 slash 0, which is connected to R2. R2 is configured with 10.1.2.2 on serial 1 slash 0 and 10.1.3.1 on serial 1 slash 1. R3 is configured with 10.1.3.2 on serial 1 slash 0 and 10.1.4.1 on fast ethernet 00. R1 and R3 are connected via another serial link and are configured with addresses 10.1.5.1 on R1 and 10.1.5.2 on R3. Please note that the link speeds of these serial links have been set to 128 kilobits per second. So on router 1, show run interface serial 1 slash 0 will allow us to see the configuration. You can see it's got an IP address and the bandwidth has been configured to 128 kilobits per second. The same information can be viewed on serial 1 slash 1. IP address with bandwidth. Show IP protocols will allow me to see that no routing protocols have been enabled on this router. So going to global configuration mode, I can now enable OSPF by typing the command router OSPF and specifying a process ID. Once again, this process ID is local to the router and does not have to be the same on all of the routers. So on router 1, I'm going to specify 1. Typing the command do show IP protocols will allow me to see which routing protocols are enabled. And as you can see here, OSPF is enabled with process ID 1 and the router ID is set to 10151. However, Typing the command do show IP OSPF interfaces will allow me to see that OSPF is not enabled on any interfaces on this router. OSPF will not form neighbor relationships and will not exchange routes. For neighbor relationships to be established and for routes to be advertised, you need to type the command network and then specify a network. So I could specify 10.1.1.1 the IP address of the FOST Ethernet 00 interface and then I can specify a wildcard mask. This is an inverse mask similar to an access list where 0 in binary means match and 1 in binary means ignore. So this is an exact match on that IP address. OSPF will only be enabled on FOST Ethernet 00. You then need to specify an area and in this case I'm going to specify area 0. The area can be specified as a decimal value in this range or in dotted decimal IP address format. We're just going to specify the area as area 0. Now typing the command do show IP OSPF interface allows me to see that OSPF is enabled on FOST Ethernet 00. The IP address on that interface is 10.1.1.1.24 and the area that that interface has been put into is area 0. You can see once again that the process ID is 1. The router ID is 10151 and the network type is broadcast. Because FOSS Ethernet 00 is Ethernet, OSPF will see this as a broadcast media. The cost is 1. Once again, referring back to the OSPF formula, a 100 meg link will have a cost of 1. Notice the priority is set to 1, which is the default. There is no designated router on this network. The hello interval is 10 seconds. The dead interval is 40 seconds. So a lot of information can be gathered just through the single command. Typing the command again, notice we have become the designated router. Our router ID is 10151 and the designated router ID is 10151. In other words, it's us. Notice the interface IP address is 10.1.1.1, which is the IP address on this FOST Ethernet interface. On Ethernet, as explained, routers will go through an election to determine the designated router and backup designated router. And that election has now taken place with our local router becoming the designated router because there is no other router on this segment. So we are the de facto designated router. OSPF, however, has not been enabled on the serial 1 0 interface 
and serial one slash one interface. So let's do that now. I can type the command network 10.1.2.1, the IP address of serial one slash zero. Once again, put in my wildcard mask. Once again, put in my area. Now, typing the command show IP OSPF interface allows me to see that OSPF is enabled on serial one slash zero as well as fast ethernet zero slash zero. Hitting spacebar shows me that OSPF is not enabled on any other interfaces. So once again, network 10.1.5.1 wildcard mask and our area will enable OSPF on the serial one slash one interface. Show IP OSPF interface shows me that OSPF is now enabled on serial one slash one serial 1 slash 0 as well as fast ethernet 0 slash 0. Doing that command again allows me to see information relating to the serial interfaces. Notice that on both serial interfaces the process ID is 1 as you would expect. The router ID is 10151 as you would expect. The network type however is point to point. OSPF is intelligent enough to realize that this is a point-to-point -point link and thus the OSPF type is set to point-to-point. -point. Notice the cost is 781 which is the cost of 128 kilobits per second link. Once again the hollow interval is 10 seconds, the dead interval is 40 seconds. But what you won't see here is designated router and backup designated router. There is no need for an election on a point-to-point -point link because there are only two routers communicating with each other. So no election has taken place. But just to give you the full syntax of commands, control Z, show IP, OSPF, interface, shows me the interfaces that OSPF is enabled on. Show IP protocols will allow me to see the routing protocols enabled on this router. And as you can see here, OSPF1 has been enabled. The router ID for the local router is 10151. The number of areas configured on this router is 1, with one normal area, no stub areas, and no not so stubby areas. Stub and not so stubby areas are special types of OSPF areas used to reduce the number of routes in the routing table. The maximum number of paths that we will load balance across by default is 4, but that could be changed to 16. We are routing for the following networks. 10111, 10121, 10151. Notice the masks. We have specified the individual IP addresses when we entered the network command. The reference bandwidth is 100 megabits per second, which is the default. The administrative distance of OSPF is 110. Typing the command show IP route shows me that I only have directly connected routes in my routing table. The reason why is we have not enabled OSPF on router 2 and router 3, so we are not receiving routes from either of those routers. I can type the command show IP OSPF, which gives me a lot of information relating to the OSPF process running on this router. Once again, process 1 has been enabled. The router ID is 10151. We can see timers and statistics like this, for instance. Initial SPF schedule delay 5,000 milliseconds. The router will wait 5 seconds before running the SPF algorithm when notified of a network going down or a new network that's been added to the topology. The idea of this is to allow the network to stabilize before running the OSPF algorithm. Notice the minimum hold time between two consecutive SPF algorithm calculations is 10 seconds. So in other words, we will not run the SPF algorithm continuously. There is a gap of 10 seconds between calculations. We can see that the backbone area 0 has been enabled on this router and three interfaces have been put into this area. No authentication has been enabled on this area and we last executed the SPF algorithm about five minutes ago and it executed three times. So let's enable OSPF on router 2 and see how the output changes. So on router 2, show IP interface brief 
will allow me to see the interfaces configured on this router 